Hi there, and thanks for using Mixpanel. I'm AK, and today I'm going to show you a new integration we built with Zapier that will let you collect data from apps like Twitter, Facebook, SurveyMonkey, YouTube, and directly integrate that data inside your Mixpanel project without writing any code. If you haven't heard of Zapier before, it's an automation platform where you connect the apps and services you love with Zaps. Zaps automate behaviors to make app-to-app -app integrations easy. Like if you wanted to collect Twitter handles in a Google spreadsheet when someone follows you, or if you wanted to prompt a notification in Slack when new opportunities show up in Salesforce. You can make that happen automatically without writing any code. The Mixpanel Zapier integration allows you to bring many different types of data into Mixpanel for further analysis. Today, I'll walk you through a simple example of using Zapier to send survey responses from a SurveyMonkey survey directly into your Mixpanel people profiles. But as you'll soon see, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. Let's get started. First, we'll log into Zapier's console at zapier.com. We can also create a free account if we don't already have one. Next, we'll click on the big Make a Zap button, which will launch the workflow editor. In Zapier, all zaps have at least two steps, a trigger and an action. The trigger is usually describing when something happens, like a new tweet, a new purchase, or a new subscriber. And an action describes what Zapier should do when the trigger happens. In our case, logging data to Mixpanel. So we'll click into the trigger field and select the app we want to use. Note that any of the apps in this list can now be connected to Mixpanel. Today, we're going to use the SurveyMonkey connector, so that's what I'll choose. Next, I need to choose when I want this trigger to fire. In our case, when a new response is added. Zapier will now ask me to connect a valid SurveyMonkey account, so I'll sign into my account in this window and make sure I'm properly authenticated. Now, I'll choose a survey that I want to listen for completions on. Finally, Zapier asks you to test this setup by grabbing data from SurveyMonkey and making sure it returns a valid response. In this particular case, we need at least one survey to be completed. Because we want to store the survey responses in Mixpanel, we'll choose Mixpanel as the action app. Currently, Mixpanel supports two primary actions. Track an event, which will fire a new event to Mixpanel when someone satisfies the trigger, or create or update a people profile which will either create a new people profile or update an existing one. Both of these actions are very similar and simple to use. In our case, what we really want is to group our customers based on what they said in the feedback survey. So I think choosing create or update a people profile is the best option for this use case. Next, we need to connect our Mixpanel project. This is very simple to do. Just copy and paste your project token in the pop-up window. There's a link to our help docs if you have trouble locating your project token. Once you've connected your Mixpanel project, it might be helpful to give this project a name so you can distinguish it in the future. Now, we'll continue to the next step. On the profile setup screen, we need to define a distinct ID that Zapier will use to match the user. This can be done dynamically by clicking the plus sign next to the text input field to reveal all the values that we have accessible in this zap. It also gives us example values to help us understand what each of these fields mean. Because we generally identify our customers by their email address, I'll use email as the distinct ID. And that's how Zapier will know which user to add properties to. After choosing a distinct ID, I can now choose all the properties I want to add for each user. Remember that Mixpanel uses key value pairs. So on the left-hand side, we'll describe the property name with some text. And on the right-hand side, we'll select a value that acts as a placeholder for the user's response. Once we've set up a mapping that we're happy with, we can continue and test the profile update. If you get the green check mark here, that means your Zap is working as intended. You can now log into Mixpanel and look at that user's profile to see those very same survey responses appear in that user's profile. When we hit finish, we can give our Zap a name and turn it on. 
Once it's on, we've automated that task. Anytime a new user completes a survey or does any trigger that we've configured up here, Mixpanel will automatically ingest that data and add it to the events or users that we specified based on the mapping we set up in our action. And we didn't have to write any code. Remember that Zapier supports hundreds of different apps that you use every day. So if you don't use surveys, don't fret. Be sure to check out some of the other Mixpanel Zapier templates to help you get started. Thanks for watching.